Cheers. Come on. Listen, we have such an amazing young guest today who is the voice for the voiceless. She uplifts her peers through her music and it's the cutest thing ever, y'all. The conversation today is bullying and forgiving. Mm, something I know a lot about. With that, I want to say that the hardest lesson I've learned in life is to bless those who curse me. I mean, it's hard. It took a really long time to shift my thinking. There were days I wished the most horrific things on those who hurt me. And I could be very creative with my thoughts. I wasted so much time focusing on what others did to me, giving them free real estate. That's like, what, rent free in my head? They're just living rent free in my head. Rather than controlling anger and dealing with my own pain, I wanted them to experience all the stuff that they inflicted upon me. It took time in cultivating a relationship with my creator to finally reach a place of healing. I wasn't the only one hurting. I don't know what they may have personally been going through, but it must have been pretty bad for them to project such anguish towards me. There comes a time when you must see those who've hurt you as someone who has also been created by the same God you have been. Yes. The same hands who formed you formed them. The same breath that was breathed into your lungs breathed into theirs. You don't get to pick and choose who God loves. As much as you need grace and mercy right now, your enemy does too. Today, make the decision to let go of the hurt and release the offense. Y'all, we got kingdom work to do and our forgiveness is holding us back. Don't let another day go by allowing the pain perpetrated by someone else to steal your future. It's time to let go and live the life of freedom you've been given. So I say to this, sit back, relax, grab a nice beverage. It's time to get this show started. Come on. Let's get it started. Listen, I am so excited for our first guest today. She is killing the rap game at only 11 years old. Her music has gathered her over 600,000 followers on social media and 1.2 million views from her song, Bad Kid, and a truly inspirational song about bullying called, It's Not Okay. Take a look at this clip, y'all. We shouldn't have to go through this. We're just kids. Let's get back to the playground. Having fun till sundown. Ain't no words on my face. All we want is laughter and some love. And friends that we can hug. There's no need for all of the hate. Not bullying, okay. No teasing, okay. Stop shooting, okay. We're just being kids, okay. Without further ado, y'all. Please help me welcome Miss Paris Guillaume! Hey! Go Paris! Go Paris! Go Paris! Go Paris! Oh, I love it! Please have a seat. How are you? Good, and you? I am fantastic. Listen, you are quite the star. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. How did you become a social media influencer and YouTuber? So I started off, I auditioned to become a bad kid under Funny Mike. And I was like, since he does YouTube, why don't I just try it? Uh -huh. So I tried it out and things went from there. Wow, that's amazing. So who is Funny Mike? You tried out for an audition? Yes, to become a bad kid. I'm not actually bad. See, I'm a good kid, but this is <laughs> just a brand name. I love it. But you get, somebody gave you a bad name? Yeah, but that's just the brand name. That's just the brand name. I love it. I love it. So how do you manage your career in school at the same time? And how are your grades looking right about now, young lady? It's okay, second. My grades are looking pretty good, but school is kind of tough, but it's pretty good for me because I go every day after school, I check my work on my laptop to make sure I don't have anything missing. Mm -hmm. Or if I miss a day out, I'll just go on my computer, try to mix it up. My teachers don't really mind it, but... 
I try to work it out. It's kind of a struggle, but I figure it out. You figure it out. So those grades are amazing. Yes, ma'am. I love it. I love it. So Paris, I really like the song, It's Not Okay because it talks about bullying, which is serious. It's a very serious issue, not just today, but back in my day, because I was bullied as a child, like from, my God, this tall until I graduated, basically. So was this a personal experience for you as well? Yes, it was. Um, mm. When I first moved out here to, well, when I first moved to Houston, mm -hmm. um, um, I moved to a new school, uh, elementary school, and kids weren't really nice there. Wow. And that's sad. And when you think about it, when you talk about it, I'm 53 years old now, but when I think about what I went through and then I see what you're going through, it's heartbreaking all over again because I know those feelings. Um, but I'm so proud of you and the tears that I'm crying for you now is because you're so strong and you took all of that adversity and you turned it into the most powerful platform you could have to tell people that it's not okay. So don't ever let it steal your joy. You're bringing joy to other people, to other young people, to know that they're not alone. You're bringing joy to me to know that someone so young is fighting like you. I didn't fight like that when I was your age against my bullier. She just constantly was just at me. And she grew up with me from like gym, uh, elementary school all the way to high school. And then one day when I finally got to move away from home, I moved back home and guess what? I come home to my father's church. My father is a, was a bishop. And who was sitting on the front row? The girl that bullied me my entire life. So I had to forgive her because now she's in a space where she used to pick at me for being the preacher's kid, for having the nappy hair, for being loud, for being whatever. And now she was in that same church serving that same God. And I've had to forgive her from a whole nother space of forgiveness and understanding. So I know it's very hard, but I can say today I can walk up to her and she's someone that I know and I know that she was hurting at that time too. And she just took it out on me because she didn't know where else to go. So you have this amazing music that you've created. Tell us what it's doing for you and how you're changing other young people's lives with it. It's doing pretty <clears throat> good for me and it's, it's like, I know other people, it's like, it's worse for them. So I just can't imagine what they went through. And it could be more heart, heart more heartbreaking to them than it could be to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to share this whole box here. <laughs> and I just, I don't think people should go through that type of stuff. No, they shouldn't. And there are, there are a lot of new rules in place in school for bullying. I've seen a lot of campaigns because so many kids go through it. My son, who is 15 now, he went through it when he was in middle school. And they move you around to different places to try to get you away from the bullying person, right? So there's processes in place now to help. And your voice is going to help change everything. Thank you. You're welcome. So we want you to continue to sing and share your platform and your story. It's not very easy, but the test is always for the testimony, right? Yes. God gives us a test for a testimony. And you're a beautiful testimony. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you going to sing for us later? Yes. I cannot wait. We cannot wait. You're going to sing, rap. Yes. Yes. <laughs> So tell me something, if you could work with any celebrity that you could, who would it be? Megan Thee Stallion oh! or Cardi B. Really? I love their energy, Megan Thee Stallion. She lives in Houston, Texas, and it's just perfect. I love both of their energies, yes. and they both get me excited. You know what? They would love your energy, too. And if they're watching, I hope y'all go hook up with Paris Gillum right here because she deserves to have that same kind of love and energy around her through mentors and positive role models. The great thing I love about Megan also is that, you know, she just got her bachelor's degree like a little while yes. ago. 
everything. She also went to the same school my sister did. She did? Yes. That is so awesome. Well, I hope you meet her one day soon. We're going to pray for that. Thank all right? you. We're going to take a short break. We're going to be right back, all right? Please don't go nowhere. We'll be right back for the culture. Woo! 